This video is sponsored by the Design Mechanism, the makers of Mithras. Mithras is a registered trademark of the Design Mechanism Inc. used with permission, all rights reserved. You found what side? The start, the start of... of time, yes. Right. That's, that's how many numbers you put in there. One kajillion. Oh, this, I've lost Mr. Pickles <laughs> altogether. I'll tell you what, he's, he's so me. fast. Can you guys not hear me? No. I can hear you, but... I can hear you, but I can't see... Uh, there you go. Unfortunately. I don't want to have to see myself either. <laughs> it's, it, ooh, yeah. <laughs> you two are going to have a domestic to the... This. <laughs> <laughs> during the session uh, you know i'm like, just trying to create some drama so that way it gets interesting and spicy that's all spicy yeah. it's oh, all about the audience it's all for the audience yeah i need to i need to create some synthetic drama so that way the oh, audience is like, Ooh. Oh, all you ever do anymore is you're just trying to stir up drama <laughs> Game kangaroo hashtag um sorry <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mr. Pickles was saying that he can't call you Captain, by the way. He has to call you just Kangaroo. <laughs> or or Captain Kangaroo. But if I called you just Captain, it would feel... Well, because it, 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 I, I honestly think it pushes against my ego. And, he, you know, he hates <laughs> yeah. that. He's like, wow, really, really inflating that already large head. Very much so. I, I call you Captain. It's, it seems strange calling you Kangaroo. Um, yeah. I'm not too sure. Because she's look nothing like a kangaroo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you haven't got. A, you haven't do you got. Do you a, like a captain though? Yes. Do you have Yarr. a Joey? Do you have a Joey stuck in stuck um, in your pouch? <laughs> well, I actually. <laughs> do you know? I, I said I that. Me, but, uh... <laughs> I said that, and then immediately regretted oh, saying it because i knew yeah, somebody I would you know, do you know what, why I, you I, set me up for that i i have to say something that a customer said to me yesterday she said um don't come don't don't come down the front because it's all slippy you can come around the back of the <laughs> I, I had to chew the inside of my mouth <laughs> okay uh, and, and and did and did you go around the back yeah. <laughs> 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 hello everyone hello welcome back welcome to metro city uh, which is a city in extreme need it is so needy it is uh, a den of criminals and nasty villains and super villains and crime you name it metro city has it but it also has the heroes, three stunning heroes who are sat ready to start to bring justice to Metro City and clean up the streets. Yeah, the um, the bat single signal or the whatever, the rabbit signal has flashed across the sky and the heroes have responded and I will let them say who the players are and who they will be playing and just sort of like um, give a brief explanation of your skills, what, what your superpowers are, you know, briefly, briefly, okay? And as always, we start with the super fast, Mr. Pickles. This guy, my superhero character is the rabbit and she's basically a super fast character. Think the Flash or Sonic the Hedgehog, whatever you like. She is capable of reacting quickly, going quickly. And basically, when I made this character, I thought at every step of the like character creation process, how can I go faster? So that is ultimately what I what I have here. She is enmeshed in the criminal underworld a little bit because of her career. She's a little bit of a, of a fighter coming from a rural background. She's very lucky. She can re regenerate from a lot of injuries. And because she has the boost parkour, and because she has a rural background and regeneration, I like to think she's been hit by a car many times. Did you take? Did you city. take parkour? I did <laughs> take parkour, and I, I want to say she learned that for a reason in this city. <laughs> but she's got regeneration, so she can get get back up pretty easily, very quickly. Yeah, um, she fights with a quarterstaff, extendable, spring powered. I like to imagine. Um, 
and uh, yeah, she's got a lot of physical skills, and that is the rabbit. I'd like to pass this over to Civilian Kangaroo. Um, everyone, I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm on. Uh, I'm Captain Kangaroo, and I'm today I'm playing Banner. Um, he is the you know pinnacle of liberty and justice for all. Uh, yeah, he's a he. Pretty much, I'm going to play him as if Captain America was similar <laughs> to what uh, a, a current American ideals probably would be. Um, just complete lunacy and uh, possible sociopathy. Um, but with interesting intentions, you know. Um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how I want to play him. But I, I you know, I've had some ideas, and uh, he's kind of a he's similar to probably most strong superheroes very resilient he has a lot of uh damage resistance at the same time uh he's very upper body strength he doesn't do a lot of leg workouts but uh you know he's all about the the shiny muscles and that's that's all that matters really um so from there i'm going to pass the the microphone to medevac why thank you uh Lieutenant Kangaroo. <laughs> um, is it is his is his rag? Yes, <laughs> go, go to Vegas one week and we got. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Mini Buck and I'm playing uh, Sophia Samson. Um, she is a. It's going to sound very Marvel now, isn't it? A um, orphaned child of a lawyer. She's a lawyer herself. Um, she fights very much on the side of the underdog um, and likes to make sure that justice is done. But by nighttime, she's misty. And she works out at the club down the road now. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a manipulator of moisture, of water. Um, got that sunny person of moisture. <laughs> Moist. No, don't. <laughs> don't do it. Um, yeah, she can pretty much do anything with water. Um, and she can do steam, she can fly on it. Um, yeah, and she can summon um, help in the form of a water tornado. Uh, she does like to make sure that justice is done, and she is on the side of good ish. No, she's good, she's good, she's major good, she's majorly good. Uh, majorly brilliant. Good. Um, so yes, just to for everybody to know while we're um, playing, then the um, alerts and the channel point rewards don't operate during our RPG sessions, mainly because I'm concentrating on trying to keep everybody in line and doing the narrative of the adventure. Um, the characters have such a thing known as luck points. Okay, these allow them to do various things. They can roll dice again. They can um, reverse the numbers in the um, roll if they've already got a roll. And they can also use it to sh cheat death. And if you would like to support your favorite hero, then you can um, give them luck points um, just by donating 100 bitties or one sterling British pound. And yeah, if you do that, then make sure you'd say in the chat who you would like to give the point to and they will use it as quickly as possible because things can get rather nasty in Metro City. And we started a bit of an adventure last time and we're going to jump straight in there and carry it on. And um, the... Rabbit and Sophia have had some minor alteration. Well, Sophia's had a Misty's had a big alteration because it's a new character, and Rabbit's had a bit of an alteration um, as we got familiar with the rules. And but we'll be picking up from where we left off last time. And in I have to um, open my iPad so I can read um, for what's happened so far. So the party have been hired by a, um, an, a fixer, somebody who is out to protect Metro called Jack Stone. And he's a, a sort of like a, a good guy in Metro City. He has a, a very big business. The party were invited up to his um, penthouse offices and were given a, a job. And the job is quite serious because... Um, Jack Stone has reason to believe 
that somebody is creating a battle drug or some kind of drug to be used within Metro City. And as you probably guessed, whenever we talk about Metro City, it's not a battle drug to help the poor. It is one to wreak havoc in the criminal world um, across the whole city. So Jack Stone has asked the heroes uh, to investigate and they had one lead, uh, a lead on the far side of Metro City that was meant to be a an unused or disused laboratory or um, building. The party made their way over there in Banner's car, I'm thinking. His Honda Civic. Yes, ba Banner's Honda Civic. Right. And they had to make... Um, I'm missing a cab. Of burritos. <laughs> yeah, they had to make a, a stop at the tiny tacos bar uh, for Rabbit to refuel um, since she needs to constantly eat. She has a high metabolism and she constantly needs to eat. And with that, they headed off to the area. I think somebody checked it out uh, by going upstairs. Was that right? Yeah, that was that was me. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, you went up uh, with your... Um, Grappling. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. And then... Which I no longer have. No longer have, yeah. And then and, and they went... Force, which I no longer have. <laughs> yeah. And they drove... Banner drove his Honda Civic into the underground parking lot where they met some ruffians, some nasty gang members... And I think somebody recognised their gang colours. I think that was the case, wasn't it? The Scorpion Biker Gang. Yeah, that's it. And the Scorpion Biker Gang. They launched into combat, dodging bullets left, right and centre, and dealt with the, um, the thugs very, very roughly. Very roughly. Um, Banner, with his super strength, actually managed to split somebody's um, head open. And Rabbit went in super fast, but actually slipped or did something, I think, and did a bit of a skid, um, but still came out on top. And they, were, they had sorted out the villains or the thugs, and they were going to the elevator. And as they approached the elevator, the doors opened, and another two thugs were stood in the elevator with some boxes, I believe. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they should have like uh, electronic equipment, I think, mm. hard drives and such. That's it. Um, so I'm just moving you across to the um, battle scene. Um, let me do that. So I've rearranged you somewhat. Um, you can rearrange yourselves mainly because, Misty, I think your role has gone from a, a very front person combat yeah, to support. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I sort of like um, put you behind, but feel free to move your um, character, Misty, where you work. And you all just make sure that you can move your character. <laughs> Uh, oh no, now Mr. Pickles is just going to move his character <laughs> around <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> so, Sorry. I wasn't there, I promise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so these two um, people here are um, out of it. They're tied up, etc. And this was the elevator. And yeah, does anybody have any questions before we launch into things? Um, am I near any? Uh, oh, go for any it. Hooligans uh, with splitting headaches right now? Um, no, that the the guy with the splitting head. Can you see that black mark there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, where that's his. Him. Yeah. So um, your, your, your let me name. assume that mark's actually red. <laughs> yeah. Your, your new call name is American History X. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so what? Um, because everybody has sort of like changed um, their characters or they got new characters. Then what we're going to do? Two things that we're going to do. First of all, is that we're going to reset all your power <clears throat> points. So consider your power points back up to full. Um, so imagine, so if they, if you had used any of them, then 
um, you've got them back. And I think it was only um, Rabbit who fumbled and she's lost that uh, as well. And we're actually going to roll initiative um, again, um, ju just so we're all on level pegging as we go into this first um, combat. So, yeah, if you would like to um, click your characters and then um, roll your initiative, and then hopefully they will appear um, on the... On the purse, on the watch, me call it. I rolled low. Oh, you watch! <laughs> <laughs> I got a five on my roll, but plus twenty one is pretty good. Oh, behave! <laughs> what did you? He rolled a five Nine. and got twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I get a twenty two. So let me, um, rabbit. You're always up there now at the top let me just move everybody I have to go fast yeah actually no this is I, I react quickly you react quickly and, and then that's it now um just to let you know people i linked a document um in the destin chat it's a, a google doc it has your act your combat actions listed there the thing that um, destin has done is that it's allowed movement with a lot of actions. So, for example, you can um, attack, but you can also do a quick move. And a quick move is one third of your movement rate. And you can either um, move immediately before or immediately after the attack. If you... so. It reminds me, Medivac and whoever, it reminds me of 5e. Yes. Because yeah, you split up your turns. How yours your movement, because you could move in, hit, and then yeah, move hit. out. Yeah. But you would so have move to. Move in 15, hit, move back out 15. Yeah. Just engage, in fact, with the rogue. Yeah. Um, but you, if you did that, the monster would have an attack of opportunity. Yeah, unless you use disengage. Yeah. yeah, and so um, notice now that if you want to ready an item, um, you can move and ready an item. You could take a quick move, but uh, you must make a standard athletics check as part of the move. If this check is failed, the handheld item is dropped and moves 1d4 meters away. So keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, apart from that, there's some nice reaction, including counter, which we haven't had before. So you can counter um, one attack roll with another attack roll or some case, some kind of roll or power. I can imagine, uh, Misty, you might do that as fireballs come out. You might. Some of the Yeah, um, exactly. And notice that the um, free action includes activate a boost is a free action. And remember, you only have one free action per round. And does that include talking as well? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. so what, is, what does activate a boost mean? Um, so, for example, if you have um, a boost to your power, so I, do you, what are your boosts? Uh, I can tell you what my powers are. I don't know what. Um, I can probably. Is, uh... t um... right. So, so for example, I, I've got my my water blast, and I can activate a boost, which then turns out to armor piercing. Yeah. Mm. So that that would be a boost. So that would be um, the free action. I am just looking at your character sheet um, in two seconds, banner, and. Therefore, I can then tell you um, um, your uh, about where who's on a power. Um, Anything that's like actionable, I think, on your your powers. Yeah. So you um, you actually don't look like um, it looks like you're a sort of character that is always. Um, oh yes, can you see? These colors don't run. 
So you have improved hit points and healing rate as compared to other heroes, okay? Yeah. Additionally, you may spend one power point to ignore pain or any penalties from a serious wound for single action. So that's a boost. So yeah. that would be, an, or you can spend two power points to remove a level of fatigue. But if, if needed, I'm more than... Um, happy to um, help you out there and that's not a okay. problem okay then so we're right into it these guys if you remember they're not um they don't have any um weapons out or anything like that the previous thugs had automatic pistols and they had knives as well but you never saw them and um, these guys look like they come down the elevator um, you know, making sure that the electronics are um, safe uh, as they've come down. And yeah, um, Rabbit, we come straight over to you. Um, so you said they don't have any guns out. They do, they, You can see that they've got guns um, on their um, on their waists, um, but they're not actually um, drawn. They seem to be more. Um, ensuring that this electrical equipment came down in one piece and they they're sort of like the doors open and you just see each other at the same time so so you will have out whatever you had out beforehand but they will have to draw their weapons as an action and do movement if they wish well then i'd like to act fast and use the boost that i uh, posted there as an example of a boost i'd like to use speed charge it's my free action yeah um which i then i would use my action to move and get the charge attack as a free action i'd like to spend an extra point so that i can go in and slap both of them with my quarter staff excellent so as the as the doors um open banner you just feel uh you know if you've got long hair it just sort of like um uh, moves slightly as as the hair as the rabbit sorry shoots um forward Let, let's have some um attack rolls then from you here is this is your quarter staff isn't it correct yeah first one um wax the first guy do you want me to roll the second one as well here or yeah we'll do oh. them both at the same time that are, yeah so uh, how how would you like to hit them um good question uh, you you are actually going to get um a special with both of them so i you... i think bash is what i'd want to use i, I want to like hit them in a way to make them stumble away like towards the sides of the elevators i guess so or you fall, could fall you fall could down. trip them yeah actually i want trip that, that's actually what i would like yeah cool um because i want to knock them down yeah so uh, I, i'm just getting my cards out so i've got action points on my um so i should roll hit locations correct um yeah so we know that trip is going to be the um the attack so you need um hit locations first here is a three and a seven which for me would be my right leg and my abdomen okay then and they're totally human just like you sorry my cards are all okay. yes, i'm definitely human yeah for sure um so yeah so um let me just check my hit points so the first one was um three yeah that that's um a leg and how much damage do you do on on the first one on that three one take five to your leg and Ow. three to the stomach and um, five to my leg okay then um so five points so he see they seem to have some kind of leather um trousers on that is offering them um some protection um so that's his um right leg uh that was a five okay that's uh, down to that and the abdomen was the other one wasn't it um correct yeah he he has leather on there, but not um, not a huge amount. And that's three. Okay, then. That is that. And now I need your, um, your trip special. 
Yes, isn't that um, a resist from you? Yeah, I I think I get to choose, don't I? Whether or not it's a, I can do either evade. I'm just trying to find it on my. Oh yeah, it's a Vader brawn, isn't it? Um, or is that athletics? I th I think I might be able to do athletics. Um, brawn, evade, or acrobatics. Uh, that's what I need to do. So let me just call up their um, sheets and we will do, I don't have acrobatics, um, but I do have brawn and I do have evade. Um, so my, uh, d d my uh, I'm going to go for 55, um, which is my brawn. Okay, so this is against your first one, yeah? So your strike was a 68. 68. Um, so he fails that. And this is against your um, second one, which is a 48. And, oh, he actually um, oh. S succeeds. Um, so the um, this guy, you w tell me what you do to these poor guys as you whiz past. Yeah, I, I um. If I can go like right past them, I want to be behind them at the end of my turn. Yeah. Um, I, I just just run right up and I swing down, snapping into the guy's leg, a very satisfying hit, and then kind of stabbing back and hitting the guy in the chest on the other side, as then I kind of vault over the the pile of electronics. The pile of the electronics and sort of like on on. So let's pretend that that word elevator is actually the 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 piles of electronics. So the one on. The, you can see the one that's prone. That's the one that you hit on on the leg, and yeah, and they um, they now uh, react and they, they look um, quite um, stunned by opening the door, especially seeing you there, Banner, um, who's very big and and very broad. And then they almost like one of them just feels that he just falls down. Um, on the ground and he sort of like starts to um, scramble back up so he will use his um, action to regain his um, footing and this other guy here will draw he's not moving but he will draw his um, um, pistol and so his um, pistols out on his action and that brings us banner <laughs> to you um banner uh seeing that uh even though this uh person is using his uh right as you know to use the second amendment um he's going to run out and then uh do a nice uh kick across the man's uh unlovely face um okay or whatever he hits him so you've got enough um movement to do that because you can um quick move so it's a third yeah. so you can use it and sort of like end up next to him yeah right. is this just your your fist that you hit with yeah well just my fist is fine um cool. i'm uh, do my unarmed all right i'm using my i'm not <laughs> failing this one i'm not gonna do it i'm use i'll switch it up i use my luck Okay, so um, you use your luck to switch that from um, a 93 to a 39, yeah. um, which means that you are um, able to um, hit um, this This guy um, sees you sort of like coming and, and tries to uh, almost like fling himself uh, out of the way um, in some kind of um, evade, um, but you, you're just too too quick for him uh, you, as he starts to move you just saw like come in yet um i need a a special uh hit location then some damage um what's the good special we can use here uh special i'm gonna go with um impale, impale. <laughs> can i impale with a with a punch no <laughs> no that's what i thought well the way i punch maybe you um, could <laughs> you could say you could bash him yeah, I'm gonna. I'll bash him. Bless um, his heart. Uh, because that will um, knock him back one meter for every three um, damage points that you do. I was actually planning to smash him back into the seventies. 
yeah, he, he'll probably end up. Yeah, so so hit location and damage then, please. All right, okay, going for hit location first because I don't want to. Are you pulling your poop punch? No. <laughs> <laughs> so so just so people know in, in the watching, um, heroes have the opportunity that have the um decision to pull their punches. If they do that, they're not trying to do physical harm or as much, and so they naturally do half damage. Um, but Banner tends to be a somebody who never pulls his punches. Yeah, this uh, is number two. Um, not for, not so, when liberty is in danger. Um, so you actually um, get him in, in his um, thigh as he sort of like tries to get away. You sort of like see him. I'm moved. hoping the break is femur. <laughs> well, yeah, let, let's do, um, do some um, damage. This is the um, same leg that um, Rabbit hit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so that would be okay then. So he is. Um, you you do hear a bit of a, a a snap. You're not too sure whether or not um it's bone or tendon or something like that. But um, he needs to um roll his um endurance. Um, his endurance is 46, which means he actually um, doesn't um, make it. So he actually um, collapsed to the um, ground. He is nicely um, out of combat uh, for 1D, um, um, 1D3. Um, so, yeah, so he, he's out of it for um, three turns. Um, which would probably be the end of the um, combat. Um, yeah, okay then. Um, yeah, you, Misty, you're, you're up. Mm. Um, seeing my compatriots oh. um, <laughs> dealing with this, I, I'm going to walk forward to here and in a commanding voice, I'm going to say, surrender. Nice. And would you like um, an influence check? Um, yeah, let, or, let's let's do. Have, oh, I don't have intimidation. Do I? There isn't intimidation. No, um, but we we can match influence with um, influence uh, with um, willpower yeah. at this stage. That that's not a, a problem. I do, however, have um, a willpower score, uh, da, 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 which is thirty nine. Uh, and now he actually so if he had actually got 33 4 5 6 7 8 or 9 he would have won but with a 46 um he doesn't and yeah he this this um you you're quite i i would love to know how misty is authoritative and um, <laughs> it's, it's, very, very stern faced and when she walk you can see sort of um Almost like a mist just coming off her and, and coming down. Um, nice. And yeah, yeah. She she pretty much just literally Yeah, she'll drown your ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, She's yeah. in legal problems, right? <laughs> yes. 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 She will drown your ass in the law. Yeah, so you um you I drown their asses in medical bills. You um, you come <laughs> over with a uh a lot of mist and the um the guy on the floor sort of like um he sort of like backs himself up against the electronic gear and this guy uh who had just got up um if you remember um this guy here he sort of like uh puts his um hands up and sort of like um uh, kneels back down or gets back down on the um um, floor he's seen banner virtually um snap his the the leg off the other person and he he's really he seems to be looking around rabbit because when he opened the door he thought there were three of you there and you're sort of like be, behind and he, he sort of like um puts his hands up and he he looks at you and uh, uh, misty and says I, I won't shoot mom mom i won't shoot honest i'm a just, just don't just don't set, set him on to me looking at um banner 
I don't know whether or not I don't know whether or not he believes knows what justice is. Oh, trust me, young man. He knows what yes. justice is. Yes. Um, Banner is going a, to. Harsh <laughs> of, yeah, he's just a harsh way of, uh, of making justice. It? Yes, enforcing um, it. Enforcing <laughs> it. That's the word. Yeah, um, I've got the 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 one I uh, broke his femur. Uh, I'm going to step on his his hand holding <laughs> his gun, and just going to step uh, pretty much smash down on his hand holding the gun. Um, you do remember you're a hero. I just want you to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just protecting myself. Right? <laughs> yes. That's, that's okay, Homelander. <laughs> <laughs> do you wish to uh, put your foot down with force or just, i.e., to cause damage or just to stop him? Just to stop him, really. I, I don't need to cause damage. I'm, I'm probably yeah. going to damage his face soon anyways. Yeah, so he um, he sort of like, uh, you put your foot on uh, his, mm-hmm. his hand and he sort of like um, releases the, the gun. And yeah, they, they both look um, incapacitated at the moment. And um, yeah, Rabbit, what are, what are you doing? Because you're... I was hoping you'd ask. I'd like to as quickly as I can with this new incapacitated guy, the one who's kneeling and who's conscious and not having his hand smashed. Yeah. I'm take his gun from wherever it is and then snap back to where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah. And um, Misty and Banner, you, you don't, you just see the the blur of rabbit um, as the guys with his hands up like that. And he sort of like feels it and, um, um, sees he, his gun going and he, he looks up at you, Misty, and sort of like says, No, no more sorcery on me, please, 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 I'll, I'll tell you anything. My friends here are going to ask me questions and I expect you to answer them. And and he sort of like goes, Friends, friends, where, 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 where's the ponytail woman gone? I, I'll lean forward and whisper, She's behind you. <laughs> and he sort of like um, slowly looks uh, back um, over the um, electronic equipment. And uh, what 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 will you be um, doing, Rabbit? What would be your... Holding the gun with a mediocre trigger discipline. Uh, and I'll say, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to use this, but it will be catastrophic. We have questions. We need answers. How many other people are there? Lisa, Lisa. You know what you're doing in here. Everything. What's on these hard drives? Every time you're sort of like waving this gun around, he's sort of like trying desperately to uh, 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 avoid it. And he sort of like says, we, we don't know. We don't know. We, we were just going to, we're just going to s- s- sell the, sell the equipment. I need numbers. How many more are there? How many more upstairs? How, how many? 14? 17? No. There, there's, there's just two of us. There's just two of us. There's nobody else. Just us two. And we had some We had some friends in the in the parking lot. All right, I'm going to uh, pick up the person in front of me by the shirt and lift them up. Um, who sent you here? And he, he he looks he looks a bit um, dazed. He's a bit um, because his femur is not um, completely intact at the moment. It's probably cracked rather than um, snapped, or or all the muscles has been yanked, uh, you know, and torn. And he he seems to be um, drifting somewhat in and out of consciousness. And he he sort of like oh no oh I oh, 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 just saw it empty. We just saw it empty. So no one sent you? No, we we we, we just we and the other guy said, No, 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 no one sent us. No one sent us, Mom. Honestly, Mom, he says, looking up at you, Misty. No but nobody sent us, Mom. We 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 just thought we could make a a a, 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 a quick pound here and there. Um Right, so I want to <laughs> Um, a small globule of water that and then, put it down his throat. His throat. <laughs> yeah. just over his mouth and nose. No, heroes, no, no, right? no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to create a small glo- globule of water and then split it into two and put it onto both of them. And as I'm doing this, I'm explaining 
what I'm doing to you now is a tracker. What I'd like you to do is hand yourselves into the police. Okay. If you don't, we will find you and things will be worse. Are you using a power or are you just being creative? I'm being creative. I'm, I'm using my... Um, that, that, uh, I, I think it is, it's absolutely fine. I just didn't know whether or not you had a secret power to trap people with water no, or no, not. No, 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 no. I'm being, I'm, I'm being liberal. Dangerous. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> well, 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 your um, um, influence skill, and um, this is going to be, I'm going to say this is a, a very easy um, role to, to convince them. And yeah, you, you easily um, con convince them. They, 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 the, the one who's in and out of consciousness is like, oh yeah, and but the other one says, yeah, yes, mom, yes, mom, yeah, mom, yeah, we'll, we'll go, we'll go straight away. And he sort of like looks at the, um, the stuff, and he sort of like says, do, do you want us to take this with us as evidence? No, no, we'll no. take it from here. Um, I then, I then rock uh, the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throw the guy across. <laughs> I throw the ground, I get back behind me. It's like, walk it off. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, I'll start like kind of uh, going through those things. Uh, maybe we lift them up and we can kind of see if we can bring them back to um, our employer. Yeah. So um, the, these two um, guys sort of like um, he head on out with this little globlet of water um, above their head and, Obviously, once they get out of a certain range, it'll just go psh, um, it will. <laughs> over them. Um, I think you still do have two other people outside that were tied up, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so is is the same going to be done for I, them? I, I would have thought so. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So um, this um, guy, the, the guy who's still in one place, um, sort of like... Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. We we we, we can do this. He says, I can't move my leg. Don't worry, Chuck. Walk it off. Walk it off. We we've got this. And they sort of like um manage to get onto their um um bikes and um head off um into the um night. Um definitely um about to um tell the world about the encounter that they had with three um, heroes. Yeah, so you're in this elevator. Um, you know that the upper level was um, empty. Uh, we'll say, Misty, that you actually um, was the person who got that in information mm. to start off with. And if you remember, you think that they might have been in the elevator coming down. That's um, right, because wasn't there something good? Let me scroll back. Yeah. Um, so you, you definitely know that, um, they were coming down the elevator. You look at the, um, the machine, these look like, they basically look like some kind of, um, computer. There isn't, they're a bit like an iMac. So they have a built-in monitor with the computer itself. You notice that some of the, um, screens, have been cracked or they look damaged and they haven't been put onto this sort of like um, trolley very well um, at all. They, none of them look like they've been powered up recently or anything like that. Does anybody have a, a computer skill? I have something called system ops. I don't Ooh. know if that, if that means. Mm. I don't. I don't know if that's computer or like system ops, like system operations in military. I don't know. I think it's probably system operations in military. Thinking about okay. your character. Yeah. Um, so, did Misty? Do you say you have? Uh, I do have computers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but my next question is: Is th there is power in this building, obviously, because the elevator is working. Mm. Mm. So, Misty, will turn to. Um, Sorry, I was just thinking that. I just had this vision that you turn to Rabbit, who's eating a burrito or something. Do you know what I mean? It's all, it's all, it's all like... All around on it. <laughs> yeah. all like, and she's all like goes, what? <laughs> you know, like four empty sauce packets on the ground. Yeah. 
and lots of sugar everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, t- I turned to Banner up and said, do, do no, Banner, you- just Banner. <laughs> Yes, yes, Christy Bannerette was very good. Please change that. Um, I turned to Banner and say, let's take this back upstairs and um, see if it plugs in. We can find out what's on it. Sounds great to me. Show me the way. Okay, so um, are you all heading up in the elevator together? Uh, Rabbit, you obviously haven't... You can go up with them or you can stay. It's completely up to you. What would you like to do? Uh, well, are there? Did I see any sta- stairs? Maybe I don't really want to go in an elevator. Yeah, there there will be um, stairs. You know. Okay, I want to use the stairs. Okay, elevators then. are kind of confining. Yeah. So, what do you say to your comrades? Race you up there, and then I just immediately go off. Oh yes, because you because <laughs> you raced Banner beforehand down the um, stairs. I remember. Yeah. Um, at Mr. Stone's office. Mr. Stone's office, yeah. Okay, then. So you take the elevator. There seems to be two floors. Um, um, Misty, the ground floor, um, because you're at sort of like basement level one with the garage. Ground floor. And then a floor um, on top of that, so a first floor. Yeah, the first floor was empty, wasn't it? And the second floor had no windows? Uh, yeah. That's exactly what I was going. So it looked like the ground floor was no, that's fine. Ground floor was like almost like a reception area and some um, booths that Um, might have been for offices or something, but everything was gone from there. But the sec, the first floor had no windows or anything like that. um, In which case, we go for the second floor. Okay, then. At least that way we know it's it, it's secure from the outside. Yeah. Um, Rabbit, um, give me an athletics roll, please. Absolutely. Yeah, so you, you actually get there um, before them, and the you take a lucky guess that they're going to the first floor, and you dash up there, and you sort of like stood by the, the lift doors as they, they go, bing! And, and open up. And the first thing you do notice, Rabbit, as you come out of the stairs, you notice it in the stairwell as well. This building seems to have um, motion-sensed lighting. So as you enter the, the stel- stairwell, lights came on. And so you've come out of the stairs and towards the entrance to the lift. And as you've done that, it, the lights are going blue and light up what appears to be very much like a T junction. So if I just draw it roughly, um, because we're using um, power of your minds um, for this one, um, just so you know. Um, you'll know something's happening, by the way, when I've got a map for it, won't you? You'll be able to say, oh, <laughs> this is. So it's it's almost like got um, it shaped like this and so you came up the stairs here and the lift door is here and along this there is just like a series of um, doors um, there seem the corridor you can see through the corridor um, banner and misty as you come up as well and the doors open and the lights click on all this corridor lights up and you can see that there's definitely doors there but the it's not wall it's like um glass it could be perspex or something like that but it you can definitely see into the the rooms or whatever in between the doors it's not a solid wall at all um does any of you have any scientific skills at all? I know a thing um, or two about animals. I need from, more... from the countryside, like rural animals. Yeah, it, it like would I be... spot a raccoon. Yeah, there's no raccoons here at all, but more um, like a knowledge skill about science or anything like that. I, I have biochemistry on another character. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
would you like to bring them in just for this <laughs> role? <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> and then kick... Bye, thanks for coming. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Don't scream in an alien ship. Um, <laughs> so one thing that you notice, uh, Misty, because um, your background is in law, but you know, lawyer, isn't it? Yes. This doesn't look like a, a series of commercial offices. There's, you know, that you would definitely not have these perspex or glass walls because of confidentiality and things like that. And you also notice as the lift doors open, the lights come on and there's um, a, a, a steady, almost like motor sound as if something has started up. Could I use my research to, like, um, cast my mind back to, didn't somebody show a video of cubicles with people in them while this thing was being tested? Wasn't there something leaked? No? What, was that in this adventure? Was it? Maybe I'm getting... <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's say you can roll your research. Um, it's going yeah, to be... A... No, 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 ignore it, because I think I'm getting... <laughs> Call of Cthulhu mixed up. No, 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 it's not Call of Cthulhu. It may be something I've seen recently. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you're on form tonight, Medivac. Yeah, Bring in another sorry. character. Yes. In another... <laughs> yeah. I'll just make some on the I'm, I'm hoping it's not um, like a, a Resident Evil kind of flashback. Yeah, well, yeah, th yeah. maybe um, that was it. Uh, uh, well, what I want to do first, anyway, as soon as you step out of the elevator, I want to take one of these, these uh, broken computers or one with a cracked screen, and I want to put it in the middle of the doors so they can't close. Yeah. Got, got you. So it's stopping. It can't be called downstairs. Yeah, got you. Yeah, and you sort of like um, step out into the corridor, and there's um, everyone just roll for me a um, perception check. <gasps> um, Here's a point of luck um, to give that a reroll. Oh, oh, but nice. And I have the lowest skill. I'm blinded by faith. And and Rabbit can't even do it with. <laughs> I do like. I, I look at the fact that I can put the computer down on the floor, so I'm not really paying attention. And and, and Rabbit's eating a, a taco now. Um, instead, <laughs> or a small child. <laughs> no, you you you, Banner. You're also like straining your hearing, and you suddenly hear. Like that, as as Rabbit finishes oh. <laughs> supping up a, a a Starbucks, a, a Frappuccino that she's got for somewhere. Sorry, I'm just embellishing your character, Mister Pickle. No, no, no. I mean, it's probably more likely she just chugged down an energy drink than a yeah coffee, yeah. But it's it mostly because you can contain that. Yeah, it's one of those like glass Starbucks coffee iced things. Yeah, is, is, is it the fact that when you run out, you just shoot off and get something else and come back? <laughs> um, you, um, uh, Banner, you um, hear this this sound that sounds like a rumbling to other people, some kind of machinery, and mm. you actually remember from your army service, you think it's some kind of um, extractor fan um, sucking air out of the building. And I think, Misty, you saw something that was very similar to it mm. up on the the roof the roof that's and right. it's definitely you think it's definitely an extractor rather than air conditioning mm. so it's extracting air outside of the building no from no, it's inside air from inside out. inside oh, it's, it's, it's extracting yeah but it's, it's directing the air out yeah why that's um i'll Explain this to my uh, my co-patriots. Hmm. That's a different word, right? Not because, co patriots. We are patriots, co -patriots. of the yeah. city. We my co-patriots. Co yeah. Um can I just say, just so you know later on, you can actually in Destin have team tactics. So you can devise set routines and things like that that work together as a as a team. And then you can actually just activate them in, in certain points. So everybody knows what everybody's going to. I think that 
execute Alpha 97. Oh, it's good. Isn't it? <laughs> it's, 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 it's like very startling, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. very much so. Attack formation Alpha. But a bit like the, you know, the end of Fantastic Four and the Silver Surfer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's the button. No, I remember the first one. Is it Surfer, Surfer one. The, the one when um, they trap him in the middle of a... Oh, they yeah. sort of like dry and then they freeze it or something. Yeah, like that's that. the first one. That's, Is that Mr. The f- that's Dr. Doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sort of thing. Yeah. So that would be something to do with your tactics. Yeah, so the um, door is propped open with a piece of electronic um, computers. Yeah, what, what would you like what, to once, do? Once Bannis told me this, um, I, I'll, I'll say, well, that's just to take anything bad out of the building. Not AC. That's weird that we would be extracting air. Mm. Right? No, but anyways, if, it doesn't if, matter. If, if there's a fire no and you want smoke to be taken out of somewhere, an extractor farm would do that. It would take everything out of the room. Yeah. Hmm. And, and Misty, right you, you sort of like conjure up um, a ball of mist mm. and you immediately see it sucked um, out oh. of, of the building um, straight away. Wait, but that, that there's still oxygen in here. We're not going to suffocate, are we? Oh, no, no, no. If we're no, going to no, suffocate, no. we should probably get out of here really quick. No, we'll, we'll be fine. Do, if, sure we, if there's no way, you won't be able to talk. At the oh, moment. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, 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 let's, let's um, move. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure. I'll put something away so the door can't close on us. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, that's I'll, already done, yeah. Okay, sorry, Don, for sure. Okay. Um, um, yeah, go ahead. Robert, have a quick run down the curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, canary. <laughs> this is when I smirk and say, are you sure I haven't already done that? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go do that, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, roll, roll your, uh, your perception to see how much you actually um, see or what you see. I see so many... Um, yeah, so you you get um, back and you report back that they're not offices; they seem to be some kind of lab, and and that's that's basically, and they seem to be it seems to be one big lab on either side, so it doesn't look like the doors are um, separate doors to separate rooms. They seem to be there. And when you get back, you you quickly went there and back again. And they're definitely labs. They're definitely two big ones. And there's something strange about the doors. Strange doors. Can't put your finger. You, you, was, you were super fast down there. Um. I mean, I'm not an expert on strange things. Uh, you guys would have to take a look yourself in order, if you want to see a strange thing, or I guess. So yeah. So uh, as soon as yeah, you let's, start, let's move down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you um, start to go down the corridor, um, you and Rabbit, you see this now because you're s- slowly moving down. Is that there seems to be some kind of mini airlock on each of the doors. So like a double door. So it looks like um, the doors seem to slide. There seems to be like a, a key pad near them. And then mm. it looks like you go into one, one shuts. And then the second one you think probably opens. There seems to be um, no, you sort of like have a look around and there seems to be a keypad for the outside door on both sides, but nothing for the inside door. You know, it looks very scientific, and none of you are sort of like, you're not experts on science. You might have seen it on a local um, yeah. film or something, but it seems mighty strange. The other th- sort of hazmat suits on the outside. No, um, and that's the other strange thing. When you look into the rooms or let's i'll call them labs now when you look into the labs it's one of these things that to get a better look you sort of like put your hands round your eyes up to the glass does that make sense 
you know, yeah. as you, and you look in and the place looks completely barren. I, I use the word barren rather than sterile because I didn't want to give you a, a, a incorrect scientific word. Mm -hmm. There seems to be the only things that seem to be in these rooms are some computers, okay? And there's about two left and they seem to be in the furthest part of the lab, sort of like here and here. Um, tables, um, but there seems to be things like um, test tube holders, but no test tubes. There seems to be like tripods, but nothing stood on the tripods. There's no, you can't see from this initial check any glass containers or anything like that. It's as if a whole load of stuff has been removed, but you can't see behind tables or in cupboards or anything like that at the moment. You do, um, Misty, you do recognize the two computers at the far end are similar to the ones that you've got in the elevator. So yeah. you think they were probably shipping down from closest and probably mm. didn't get to these mm. at the far end. Um, can I just check the door to see if it opens or not without using the keypad? But um... yes, yeah, so the the keypad has um, like a button to open, and mm -hmm. then it has a code, a keypad above it. And when you press the the keypad, um, just like the open the green go button, yep. then sure enough, the outside door just sl open. slides. Yes. And when you do that the chamber in between lights up. Mm -hmm. The door on the opposite side of the chamber is it's still closed. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, yeah. Like I say, we'll, we'll have watched those wonderful Friday night B movies with the chambers <laughs> that you go through. Um, right. Okay. Um, the gang members must have gone through with no problem, so it's not like this is a trap or anything. Well, that's not entirely true. Well, they, they were making a drug, weren't they? They were making a maybe. Uh, if, yeah, if it's a way to test it. Uh, could I use my my perception rule from earlier to um, see if there's any uh, security cameras? Yeah, um, as far as any of you are aware, up to this point, you haven't seen any. Um, electronic surveillance or countermeasures or anything like that. The only thing that you've seen is these this keypad. Um, but a, a quick look at all the other doors, find that none of them are actually locked via the keypad. It's as if um, the, the file containing all the keypads um, lock codes or open codes has been removed. And they're now just almost like default doors waiting for instructions for locking, etc. Are there any plug sockets on the in this corridor? Um, nothing on the corridor, but you do notice that inside there's those sockets that are on the table. Does that make sense? Mm. Uh, you know, you have yeah, the table, yeah. then the socket that, and you can see that the last two computers, that's what they're plugged um, into. Oh, just not go in there. Um, I mean, I could go in there really quick if Banner holds the door for me. Yeah, oh, I can do the best I can. <laughs> that's reassuring. <laughs> you could break a leg. Can't you hold a door open? Um, I don't for think America? one will open without for America. <laughs> for America. Lady Liberty does give me strength. Um, yeah, I'll roll my brawn. Well, hang on, hang on a minute. So, um, so the outside door opens. That just opens normally. So, I'm assuming then is Rabbit and Banner going into the little airlock thing? Is that is that the plan? 
Oh, I was imagining this differently. For some reason, I thought the two doors were right next to each other with a small space, but it's like a no. like a it, it's a cubicle. Hazmat room. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Well, well that's what I'm, bit, I'm, I'm a bit reserved to go in there because it's a hazmat room. Yeah, I got that entirely. <laughs> so here's what we should do. I think, Misty, you hold the outside door open. Banner, you go hold the inside door open, and I'll go in there and I'll get the two computers. And I'll bring them back out here real quick, and then we can go back to uh, Jackstone, and then we can plug but, all the computers Robert, in there, and Robert, we can get the information and solve this problem. Robert, I don't think the inside one will open with the outside one open. That's why Banner's on the inside one. He he can open a door, right? Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're heroes here. Let's. We gotta. We, we gotta Please tell me it. what what is Banner's intellect? I need to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Um, okay, can I hug him and love him? Uh, yep. <laughs> intellect is ten. Oh my. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Okay then. So rocks together. I I I imagine I can see what you're going to try to do. Um, which door are you going to try to do it with? So there's four doors on either side. The the door at the far end of the corridor on both sides, that rabbit would be closer to the actual um, computer. And you could go for the one on the top or the one on the bottom or your right and your left is completely yeah, up to you. We'll, we'll, we'll go for the closest. I think, rabbit, that's, that's a sensible thing, isn't it? Yep, and I want to do the one on the top. Okay, then. Okay, uh, so... So yeah. tell me um, the... So if I get this correct, tell me if I do it, um, my perception is incorrect or nothing. So you're going to open the first, first door. door. Misty, you're then going to try to keep that no. open. No, I'm going to put a computer that's got a smash screen in it. Again, right. Blocking okay. thing from closing. So you... I'm no way strong enough to hold the door. Okay, so, so Banner sort of like comes up and um, brings one of these computers I don't know what Misty's brawn roll is like. Um, Are you used to... 92. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, no, he's not. A <laughs> it's where, it's, she was an ex-judge with the gavel. Yes. <laughs> she was ju- Lawyer ju- by day, ju- cross ju- trainer by night. <laughs> um, um, so you're going to bring up a... Uh, Banner can bring up a computer yep. to try to stop it from closing that would be fantastic and then rabbit and banner you're you going go. into the first into the little cubicle yeah yeah and then banner you're going to try to open the, door. the second door yeah okay then so if it opens you're going to try to keep it open yeah yes okay yes. then so um opening the first door is not an issue at all Okay, and it opens okay. quite nicely. You manage to push a computer um, in the way to stop it from closing. And Rabbit and Banner, you go into the little um, cubicle. And this looks like it's really just for one person, Rabbit. Um, so Banner's quite a big guy you know, especially his upper body. So it's quite a tight fit fit in there. And you're you're very you're very close to each other. Mm-hmm. And there there's there's not a lot of of room in there. Um and once you get into there you you hear the door and um, behind you try to shut. Okay, and the the door, once you're in it, it looks like you've triggered something by going into the cubicle. The outside door slowly slides and then hits the computer and you can see it. You sort of like look around, it goes "Eh, eh, eh, eh," like that and it it can't seem to close um, at all. And after a few attempts, it, Misty it opens um, fully again. The inside, the inside door does not. Just out of interest, are there any looking where the door would close? Are there any touch points where which would need to be pushed in, so, so it recognises that the door is closed? You, Do you, you know what I mean? Like a trigger, tr- um, like a trigger. Yeah, you can't 
see anything that you can press or anything like that, you probably see that this would make a perfect seal and it might be that electronic perfect seal that would trigger the inside door. Um, so there's nothing, I see what you mean. There, there's nothing that you can push yeah. or hold it. it uh, to be fair, it, yeah, the, um, if it's going to be a, a, anything for a lab, it will be like an airtight seal, won't it? Yeah, but it's, it seems that the um, the outside door seems to have to close mm. before the inside door may open. Of course, okay. Banner, you know, it, it's a door. Yeah. yeah. Let's try this again. And, and as it starts to close, I'm going to move the computer out of the way. Yeah. Uh... Um, so a, as it starts to close... I don't know if I like that idea. It's slow yeah, to go. I kind of hate this idea. And, yeah, you, and Misty moves the computer out of the way. And the dog goes... Uh, and trail. Um, <laughs> Misty's on the outside going, what? <laughs> Um, and you hear your face like is melting. <laughs> you, That's what I'm saying. It's melting. like uh, this is. I've seen enough. M uh, Misty, Misty puts this you. sign up against the window, saying "Live long and prosper." Yeah. <laughs> the needs of me. Um, so the the, the the outside door, the uh, outside door, sort of like seals, and there's a definite, uh, sort of like a. And you hear there's a, a quick sucking noise. And um, Rabbit, you feel that your ponytail moves slightly. And there's a definitely um, seems to be an extraction of sound and probably air as well. Not enough to suffocate you. There's air coming in the bottom, but probably clean air rather than dirty outside. Um yeah, um, Rabbit, just roll for me a, a willpower um, check. Just to not scream and yes. hold on to, Yeah, I want to fail. Yeah. I, I, I imagine that Rabbit would scream at the, the confinement and just start shouting, no, 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 and hugging on to, to, um, <laughs> to uh, uh, Banner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Rabbit is sort of like... Um, holding on and, and looks rather um, worried and frantic um, as she's put into an enclosed um, space. And Bella, you look down and sh she looks pretty um, terrified as she grabs hold of you. I smell like taco sauce. <laughs> <laughs> right, just... Let's grab the computers now. Yeah, and... Uh, Balaz doesn't doesn't give you any words of reassurance or anything. He says, let's just grab the computers now. And what seems to be a lifetime for you, Rabbit, um, but it's probably only about 20 to 30 seconds, the oh. inside door um, opens. And Rabbit, you probably just, well, what, what do you do? When... Right out. I'm, I'm out as soon as I can. Yeah. And you sort of like um, go out and you, you're sort of like panting a little bit and, um, you know, taking in the, the air. The air in here seems, it's, it's not stale. It's very, it's almost like got that taste of steril a sterilized environment. It's, it's super clean. And, you know, neither, none of you are used to it from Metro's dirty um, streets. And it, it's almost as if you're breathing artificial air. And you soon become aware that the, the oxygen level in here is just slightly higher than um, normal environment, which is making you feel really positive you feel that you have your energy in a few sharp intakes of breath, um, rabbit, and you're instantly getting back to your um, busy self. Yeah, there's, there's a computer up at the um, top end. Um, would you? What would you two like to do? Banner and rabbit, you're inside. Um, I would like to run around the room four and a half times. Slowly. I'll walk 
No, as fast regularly. as I can. This is a, a good place, a safe place. Yeah. Uh, can can I? Super high. Can I just interrupt? Can I just, yeah. I, I want to ask Banner. Is there any way I can talk to them? Can they hear me? Oh, so this is the other interesting thing. It appears that the labs are soundproof. Oh, joy. Mm. So. Hear me scream. In which case, on on the glass, I'll knock on the glass. Yeah. Or wave get get gets a bad attention or rubbish attention, and I'm going to lick my finger. I'm going to create some water, yeah. and on it, um, I'm going to write on the glass backwards. Can you open the door from the inside? Okay, so that's quite. A... <laughs> you, you keep going. Huh. I'm writing a bit, and they go. Huh. <laughs> do you, oh, oh, by the way, comma. Do you want to get lunch after this? Yes, <laughs> well, you, you can. Oh, sticks, uh, uh, you you can probably sort of like gesture and misty, yeah. just so you know. You can see when the inside door opened. Okay, it yeah. it's not closed. It's still open. Oh, right. So you come to the conclusion that probably when you come back into just, the, in the air, sort of the yeah. Um, but at the moment, you can see. So you suddenly realize that the thugs must have gone in and out for okay. the for the inside door to be shut again. Does that make yeah it make did. make sense? Yeah. And yeah, so just before we go for our break, um, Rabbit, you dash round um, four times. Just make for me, please, a hard perception check because you whizzing past really quickly. I really need to be more perceptive about the world. Yeah, and uh, you notice that you couldn't see anything on the top, but there is remnants of things on the floor. There seems to be, um, it looks like um, some files or papers that looks like have just been sort of like pushed from the um, tables onto the floor. And although you could see no glassware on the table, as you dash round, you do see some glassware on the floor, which is smashed. Oh, <gasps> and property damage <laughs> and we will leave it there and go and take our break because it's half past so um 15 minutes we'll be back at quarter to the hour and we'll see what happens both inside and outside yeah, can lock this door on the outside yeah, yeah. <laughs> lock them in yeah brilliant um so yeah um, go away have a good stretch of your legs and we will see you in 15 minutes be back soon again but i'm dying to know whether or not you made a profit at vegas uh probably not um i don't really <laughs> want to do the math you you don't remember don't you 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 actually don't <laughs> <laughs> probably not i feel like there's less money in my account than when i first started so you may have but... heard that yeah <laughs> um yeah but i i don't think i lost as much money okay because uh, i have also have a lot of cash in my wallet so i haven't really done the math nice nice um welcome back everyone um captain kangaroo went to las vegas was it yeah last week on uh on a party week end. So that's what we were talking about. Bachelor yeah. party. Uh, we just wondered whether or not he got it, married. It was a, so when it was, he was away. a giant festival. It's called When We Were Young. Um, and it was like a fest festival of a bunch of emo bands. Are you? Um, are you? I'm not emo. No, not, you know, not. I don't know whether or not you're messing not with me. I have yeah. no idea whether or yeah, not you're messing with me. It keeps coming up. It's not you. I also have that from my my coworkers too. It's like I don't know if you fuck with me or not. I'm like, hmm. yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> <laughs> and it, well, I, the other thing is, it's because I'm when I'm streaming now. I'm looking at my camera. Yeah, I'm looking straight down the lens of my camera, so I can't even see you to see whether or not you're smirking or or anything like. Like that. Now I'm looking at you now just to see where uh, I, I believe everything Captain Kangaroo says because he lives the life of awesomeness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. 
Okay. But yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because he's not married. Or maybe. We don't know. We don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I was married this time through Vegas, but you know. if it, it... He has a dog. I know that. So yeah, if, if, if a lady come, call, called Jane comes knocking at your door and goes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you <laughs> you know, yeah, that you yeah. went. Okay. So Misty is out in the corridor um, on the opposite side of a airlock type of door. Well, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, Banner and Rabbit are inside and Rabbit had a quick dash around and it looked like you saw that paper was on the floor. And although there was no glass um, containers or anything like that on the benches or on the tables, there is some smashed glass um, on the floor. Yeah. And that's where we left it. So, yeah. Um, Rabbit, what would you like to do? I would like to inspect the glass first to see if it was like dry glass or if it has any residue on it or if there's like purple bubbling liquid still in it okay then and banner um are you heading over to the computers yeah i'll come i'll try to see if i can pick them up yeah do you want to pick them up or start them i don't know <laughs> start them <laughs> yeah mister you look in at and balance is going yeah look at me <laughs> pick up the monitors and like just like shaking them they see something come out it's like where is it yeah files <laughs> you put you, you probably have some computer skill as a basic yeah. so you can turn it on or you can pick them up in order to take them outside to misty it would be up to you which one pick would you the mouse and go computer Hello, computer <laughs> i'll turn on and uh start doing my okay then hacking skill and misty what what's going to be your what are you doing um, once i know the situation with the doors i'll push the open button on my door and hopefully the inside one will then close. It does. I'll step in. Yeah. Stupidly. And then I'll wait for the cycle and then go out. Okay, then. So you're... Um, I know nothing about what's going on in the room. No. Uh, so, from what I've seen, so... Uh, so you sort of, like, um, step into the room and Banners... An air of confidence. Yeah, Banners um, seems to be tapping on, on the computer um, screens, on the keyboard, and um, Rabbit... Um, sort of like appears sort of like stands up a, a, li a little bit like a prairie dog <laughs> yeah, you know that she... a lot of it like... <laughs> <laughs> you know and so rabbit the first thing is it does look as if there was some content in the glassware there's nothing purple or bubbling or anything like that it seems to have soaked into the the floor or being evaporated it's sort of like a, a lino floor a vinyl floor so looks like it's been ev evaporated you do see the remnants of rubber bungs that were probably in the um, test tubes and there there's so many of these broken bits of glass all over the place um, but your your general thought is that if there was anything in them they it probably got sucked out via the um, extractor system um probably hopefully not straight out into the air maybe well. through some kind of filtration system to eradicate any of the badness you do see a whole load of paper around that you can collect to have a peruse with um Somebody else, Misty or Banner, could augment that role um, if you want. And Banner, you turn the computer on. It has power. and But as it comes on, um, the first thing that it asks you to do is log on. And it requires a username and a password. I shouldn't try password password one right that's that's a no-go on everybody no. you, can, um, three, four. you can give it a <laughs> go if you Smith password do, do you no. would you like to give it a go no not that <laughs> i miss it guys no <laughs> can, I, can i look can i look, look like under the desk or something look for like a little like post-it note oh post it uh yeah 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 um, perception or something, something yeah can... so you you can i tell you what you can use rather than 
perception, you can use um, research for me. Research? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe a luck? Uh, yeah, I do research. Yeah, do research. What is it? Is it? Uh, it's... Yeah, so you're sort of like um, busy looking around underneath it. These benches have no drawers or anything like that, but you also go over to some cupboards as well and have a look through those. Um, yeah, um, Rabbit, uh, what would you like to do with this this paper? Um, I'd like to, well, first off, I would like to take the largest chunk of broken glass I can and having Misty come into the room, I want to immediately just go over and say, I found broken glass. There's also a bunch of files here. Here's a big chunk. There might be something in it. I don't know anything you know about science. And then I'll <laughs> <laughs> to the files. And, and my goal is to like stack up all the files on a table. Yeah. Got yeah. Can. Yeah. So you're also sort of like standing there, uh, Misty and, um, the rabbits are going, phew, 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 and these, this paper is just sort of like um, stacking up, and there's a piece of glass um, there. It looks like a piece of a conical flask, so mm -hmm. bigger than a test tube. But uh, it see it, from looking at it, it looks absolutely um, dry. There doesn't seem to be any residue on it at all. No problem. I'll, I'll put it to one side on the desk, and the, the first thing I'll do is I'll have a look at these these notes. Yeah. And hopefully, see if they're in some kind of order. Okay. Then. And then I will look at the name if there's a name on them at all. Got you. Um. So, roll well, your research skill. Yeah, I put points in that. Yes. <laughs> um. So you um spend some time. I'm going through it. Now, obviously, this is not just a roll once and find no, out no. all the information. So let's take in half an hour gaps. OK, yeah. no, let probably less. Let's do 10 minute gaps. OK, so every 10 minutes that you want to stay in because you've got a, a successful roll, then I will tell you um a piece of information and just to let you know that information will be true right um, so so that's it so you can start um waving um looking through the paper and your first one for the first 10 minutes because you can easily do that as rabbits tidying up and banners looking around for a password you you there seems to be the files seem to be organized via subjects now, I don't mean like maths and English. I mean subject <laughs> 40661. Yeah. But yeah. And um, inside them, there's almost like, they look like criminal photographs. They seem to be like head and shoulders and they're holding up a card number. And that number relates to the subject number as well. And then there seems to be some information about them um about it looks like their um whether or not their where they live what they did and the majority there's a lot of um orphans or um zero mar marital status or marital status nil and um there's also seems to be um people that are sort of like said street or homeless or something yeah. like that. So that's your first um, 10 minutes. Banner, there's nothing in around here that would give uh, an idea about a password um, at all. Uh, I probably should have typed in any passwords that all of a sudden, you know, create like a, a fail safe arsenic exposure or anything, but whatever. Uh <laughs> I was going to say, you need a username as well, don't you? Yeah, that is yeah. correct. Yeah. Um. Well, at this time, I bet it's best just to uh, unplug the uh, computers and maybe take them with us. Yeah. So imagine it like a an iMac. So the screen and the computers all in one, and you sort of like unplug it. Um. You obviously t disconnect the turn the socket off before you do, it and you so sort of like bring it over to Misty, who seems to be. Um, plowing her way through um, papers. Um, Rabbit, you've done all the tidying up now. Misty seems to have 
um, or the paper that she seems to be um, flicking through. And every now and again, I would have thought Misty probably furrows her brow. I, I, well, what I was going to say with Misty while she's looking through this, um, you, you'll see maybe around her she's she's doing this. She's very stern looking when she's when she's concentrating. Um, but again, around behind her, you'll see maybe a puff of mist just appear, mm. uh, and maybe a, a riblet of, of water just come from a hand. Yeah, and uh, as you go through and mm. uh, engage with it. Yeah. So, yeah, um, Rabbit, what would you like to do now that you've tied it up? I don't believe that I've fully tied it up. I would like to go through the airlock to the other room and see about any papers I can get to aid um, Misty in her research. Yeah. Okay, then. So you um, go through to the other room. You have to go through the um, uh, airlock the same. And this other room, um, look, this other lab, let's call it a lab, uh, is very much the same. And you sort of like um, collect up the paper. And one thing that you notice, and you notice it when you're collecting it up, a lot of the um, the paper is in like like a piece of cardboard, like a, a oh, you know, those brown ones, little hack on the side. Yeah, that sort of like foil. So there's no sort of like um, catch or anything. But you do notice something, rabbit. Uh, and this is quite obvious that all the cards, all the folders and bits of paper that you handed to Misty from the first room appear to have an orange sticker code on it. And the thing that you notice from this side is that it no longer has that orange sticker code. This one has a deep red um, sticker code on it um, rather than the the orange one from the previous room. Well, Misty will know a lot about codes, so I'd like to pile up as much as I can in the, uh, in the airlock and start the process of moving that over to, to her table. Yeah, so you can sort of like, um, if you imagine a, a, a series of um, folders and papers that you're just holding in your arms, there's not a massive pile left or anything, but you also bring this um, back to Misty. So, Misty, you've probably um, had another 10 minutes by then. And the first thing I'm going to say to you is that you notice that there is a status on each of the files. And sometimes it's difficult to cross match them, but the status seems to have two um, in parts of in bits of information. The first thing is <clears throat> it has uh, a box that somebody has scrolled, um, scrawled some writing in. It seems to be a number and a period of time. So it, some says one hour, some say seven days, as one says two weeks. And next to that, um, in the second box is a stamp. And there's the stamp on all the ones that you are looking at says deceased. So there's a time element and then this stamp mm. deceased. Gotcha. And then Rabbit comes back with the um, stuff from the other room. Got more information. I'll go move the other computer just, out as soon as I can. Just put it there and we'll, we'll probably take it with us. Yeah, you can... You can easily carry the paper um, between you, and um, Banner's got the computer. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I do think I'm going to stop reading at this point once I see deceased. Um, I'll close the file, and I'll have a bit of a, a concerned look on my face uh, while I do this. Um, I'll put the, uh, the orange folders on top of the red folders, um, and, and I'll turn to Rabbit and say, you, you found no no masks or any um, uh, name tags, cards, badges, nothing like that? I don't believe I saw any masks or name badges or... Uh, Correct. Why masks? 
There was no name badges or uh, or white coats or face masks or gloves or anything like that oh, at all. And there's no beds in here either, is there? It's just... Correct. Right. Yeah, I think this is a lab, not a hotel. Um... <laughs> 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 Do you know? I thought you were going to con. Bally was going to contribute something very yeah. special. <laughs> he just spoiled it at the end. Well, um, okay, um, I think it's time to uh, to, to to leave here. Um, unless somebody else can think, Bally, can you think of anything else to look for? Um, I don't see anyone, and um, I'm also getting kind of hungry, so. Uh, let's go back to the Liberty Mobile. Yeah, okay. We should probably get all this equipment. We were paid to go mm. and get any information. This is the only lead we have. So if we get all this, this information, right. then we'll get paid. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, then. I, I'm more concerned about these dead people as well, though. Well, they are dead. Mm. Not through their choice, though. You sure? Maybe it was a suicide pact. Who knows? It is our freedom. I, I, think, I think maybe this is one of those situations where this these people who are working on this drug are maybe just taking people off the streets with promise of money. Possibly. Yeah. Well, that's um, not good at all. We should probably get this information out as quick as we can. I, I might be too. something on all these hard drives, yeah? Yep. So, um, Banner, you can... Do you want to get the, com the other computer? Because there's another one in the of a side of the corridor where rabbit went yeah no i, I will yeah I will you have no it. problem um carrying this i was just thinking while i was making coffee that the the government system in metro city is called the state okay mm -hmm. and then um motto is justice for all so I thought rather than hopefully that can feed into your character. Oh, absolutely. Um, so you know that it's the state and justice for all. Um, so, yeah, so you, you take all the stuff down into the um, Honda um, Civic and the computers can go in the boot. There's plenty of room there. Um, and suspension brakes. Yeah, and, yeah, and and Misty, you're sort Especially of like the empty boxes, empty pizza boxes aside, yeah, and you sort of like you sort of like push them to one side, and there's um, maybe the odd um, gun coat or mag or Wellingtons from a friendly shootout that Banner's been on, but you sort of like push them to one side. Yeah, go for it. As, as, as Robert Spatz gets in, I, I say to her. Maybe you just want to stretch your legs and, and keep up with us. Ouch! <laughs> no, 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 because I, I, I know how she, how, how she reacts in confined places. So well, you, you, we drove there. So you, I was twitching. In the yeah, back you, seat, you, so you were eating food. like mad as well. Yeah, you so, do think it's probably food time, Robert. Yeah. Uh. Always food, food time. Okay, I say we go to uh, oh, doggy. Pizza Swamp's Pizza. Oh, doggy. And then we go to Jack Stone's building. I agree. Yeah, it's the people. Hello, people. Hello, doggy. Oh, it looked. It heard me. How are you feeling? Rough. Rough. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, what, what was the... Um... What was the um the shop that you were going to there? Sorry, uh, Pizza Slobs Pizza. I'm trying got, to like, this big monster on, uh, like as their mascot. It's a little terrifying. Pizza. Say again. Is sorry. it is it Pizza Slobs? Pizza uh, like the the slop the extra sloppy pizza is their specialty. Yeah. Okay. And, and the box is made up as layers of pizzas. Yeah. So is <laughs> it is it just called Pizza Slobs? Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's like an insult to the customers. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to keep a note of all these places that exist in Metro City. Um, so yeah, so you can um head off to um pizza pizza slobs to refuel, uh, yourself, Misty. Um, you you can if you wish. You sit in the back and continue to peruse these oh, files. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so. 
you you in the next 10 minutes let's do two lots of 10 minutes because you'll drive there and then rabbit has to order etc so rabbit and banner are giving a bit of banter to each other in the front saying how fast one of them is but how the other one can lift heavy objects and you know rabbits yeah rabbits all like says i'm as fast as a car and banner says but i can lift a car you know and there's sort of like this one upmanship going on and mr yoda sat in the back um perusing these this pile of files and um something else comes out Uh, now that you've got the other files there's definitely two distinct separate trials going on here um there's two different um drugs or something being tested and one of them seems to be that the notes on the dark red one from the south side of the corridor it seems to all be related to uh, strength and brawn and this dosage allowed them to and there's also words um, like um, hideous transformations and transformation means subject could no longer go outside and and things like this and then in the other um files the information's a little bit different it's not necessarily talking about power of strength it seems to be talking about power of influence it it doesn't seem to be anything to do with tele- telepathy it seems more to do with persuasive power and it it talks about this the subjects that seem to be dead seem to be dead because of this this other drug that almost like another subject had so it's not lots the people that are all dead is because subject a for example suggested them walk off a the top of a building Mm. and and they did or put your hand in that um pit of vipers and they did um so one seems very much to be aggression based and strength based well the other one seems to be a lot more um subtle yeah a more persuasive um yeah Mm. um as i'm reading this i I will um mainly end up banner here because i know rabbit probably wouldn't be too interested in this sort of thing yeah but um i know banner's military correct so i'll be i'll be passing this on um, and just muttering things like that they've been experimented on people to make them stronger and 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 tougher um, stronger you say that's familiar <laughs> it is indeed um but in some cases it, it's, it's it's transformed them into some kind of hideous mutation by the sounds of it mm, very um, interesting have you, have you heard any of that before um i've uh hmm. I have dealt with people while in war who changed into dirty communists. That's. (laughs) 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 You think that Banner's going to say something serious. (laughs) I know. And then it's just. (laughs) The orange ones seem to be um, working more in power of of oratory, perhaps, or maybe. (laughs) So um, they follow maybe directions. Telling people to do things and they do them. So um, if you could do this and you could turn somebody into an assassin, or you could make them kill themselves. As a member of the military, there's nothing more free than listening to your sergeant tell you what to do. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, I, so I, I sadly, sadly, Banner, um, 
I, I, I do understand what you're saying, but mm, imagine yeah. if this power was to walk into a family house and <gasps> tell the mother to go out and kill like a, tyranny? a load of people. We must stop them. <laughs> <laughs> Get to have those communists tell us what to do. That's Banner, tyranny. Banner's become the tick. <laughs> Oh, mistress of justice. <laughs> I, I've just put in the chat. Can I just say anything that is said on the stream does not represent our true opinions about things? <laughs> Banner is his own. I just wanted to put that out. <laughs> own ideology. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and hearing the replies, Misty or I'll, I'll just D like. Does sorry? Does does Banner have any uh, knowledge skills or anything like that? Uh, you know, he, he knows what freedom means. Uh, professional skill, culture, military. Yeah, roll that. All right, I'll do that. Zalas <laughs> um, has put in the chat. It's too late for that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, looks like I failed there, but you know what? I'm gonna make it a little interesting, and I'm gonna reverse that. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll reroll it. Why not? Go for yeah. it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that going. A you little... can do it, Banner. By Lady Liberty's handkerchief. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you do remember? Um, there was some work done by the dark side of the military, you know, the the less public face about mm. empowering spies or individual soldiers to carry out um, covert operations and definitely under the radar. But it's your opinion, your true-blooded part of the state opinion that... This was all shut down because it was seen as extremely unethical and not the right thing to do for justice for all. Hmm. Ethics. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ethos? Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know what we're dealing with, but they sound like socialists, and we need to figure this out. We need to stop them from their tyrannical approach. Where do we head now? Rabbit, where do we go? Uh, we're going to Jack Stone's after lunch. Yeah, we got to bring... Well, this is like probably 2 a.m. Correct, yeah. It's probably wise to wait to the next day. Well, It's fourth meal, and yeah, we should... Yeah, okay. Right, we should um, stop breakfast. We, we stop by the, uh, the place or not. Let, let's let's go back to my place. Um, Rabbit knows where. Yeah, where I, I live. I know. Um, Race you there. Go for it. Um, <laughs> I bet you win as always. So we'll head back to my place, um, and then that way we've got a whole kitchen of food, um, okay. and we can go through these files and wait, or maybe just rest until the morning. Okay then. Um, so, Rabbit, roll your athletic skill. So much parkour, it's in my heart. Yes. Yeah, you flip and run and jump and get back there. And this seems to be an appropriate moment in time when you get back to Misty's um, house. A com is that a house or yeah, an apartment? Yeah, it's kind of one of those places with, 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 with the gates that... Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. And you go up to it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is a good point to talk about your alter egos, because obviously you have split lives being superheroes. And I noticed that um, Misty and Rabbit have their real names. And the first thing you need to decide upon is... Do you have like day jobs when you're not your superhero character? Um, obviously, what 
What do you look like? Are you trying to hide your identity when you are um, a superhero or is that absolutely fine? And yeah, I know Misty's uh, a lawyer. Is lawyer. that cool? Indeed. Yeah. So let's start with you, Misty. What do you switch? Do you become um, Misty? And then is it? Um, no, I, I I go into court like this. <laughs> yeah. No, I do. I, I completely switch. Um, nobody apart from Rabbit um, really knows who I am. Okay. At the moment, um, and yeah, uh, so my day job is literally going out and going to court, defending the innocent. Okay, then bringing criminals to justice. Um, imagine a daredevil, but a female daredevil who can okay. fly and do more stuff rather than so do corridors. So, how do you keep your identity secret at, as Misty? Then, what changes um, occur? Um, I, turn, I, I get rid of the little curl in my hair. <laughs> yeah. And then I put some glasses on. <laughs> and then, then that's it. And we, wow. No, no. no. You, you'll see Misty in the morning if she's not work, if she's not been a superhero. Um, she will be in a, a three piece suit. Um, it's a trouser suit. Yeah. Mm. Um, and she will always have her briefcase with her. Um, underneath that, of course, is her, um, her, her, her outfit because. Yeah, Got, yeah, that's what she does, just in case. And, yeah, but she will always try to find somewhere quiet and empty to to transform. Change to yeah. transform. Um, yes, um, but yeah, no, it, it, it's been something that's that's hidden because it's it it's it's come about through tragedy. Mm. I mean, a, a parents died, or a, um, uh, and then she got the powers, um, so. Yeah, and there's yeah. Still people out there looking for Got uh, you. and so on. Yeah. yeah, and it is probably that that your sort of like superhero life and your career are so much, they're so displacement between the two mm. that you're not almost like encountering the same people. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, and yeah, your hair's but, probably all up in a... Oh, it's, it's know, tidy. B- I, I'm, burn I mean, with, when, with, I'm, when, when I'm when I'm flying, it's flying. Yeah. It's uh, down. Mm. So, what about rabbit? Um, I don't think she does a lot to cover up her identity. Um, she was rural, and so she came into the town, and I picked the career brawler with the idea that using her natural abilities, sort of regeneration, it, it, her she's a created origin, so she's always had her abilities. I figured she'd be very efficient at fighting in like underground kind of fights and stuff and some some legitimate fights. But since you can only do like these fights and continuously win against regular people for so long, I think that that revenue stream has been running out very, very aggressively. Oh, yeah. And so now she's like, well, what am what am I going to do? Uh, I like to think of Rabbit as the name that she got when she first entered to a fight. And somebody's like, we're not going to say your name. Uh, you're short. You're full of energy. You're Rabbit. Get on stage. Got, yeah, yeah. In the ring. Um, in, in her token, she wears a mask. Is that? I did go for full polyweave armor. And I like to think because she's been hit by a car a few times, she usually wears that underneath some very baggy clothes. Got, yeah. Um, and when she's out, like actually on a like job where people might attack her, she doesn't wear like a baggy sweat jacket. Yeah, not. but that's her street clothes. Uh, and the polyweave she probably doesn't have on uh, unless she's on the job. Uh, the, the polyweave helmet, I mean. Just yeah, and it, I think um, her powers are never off, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're all always on. Yeah, and no matter what. Um, so. We, your her luck reminds me is it domino in the um, yeah deadpool. the second deadpool Indeed. I, yeah uh, so and and oh, what that, that's that's not a power yeah yeah that, that's <laughs> not a power and what what about um beefy man um banner banner uh banner uh the, this is in his sense this is who he is this is his this is his in his mind he has one mission life and that's to protect the state freedoms. Got, um, yeah. Whatever that means in his drenched head. 
Um, he does have a day job um, that he does not wear his uniform for. He uses wears another uniform, and that's delivering pizzas. Uh, <laughs> Yes. And and that's yes. how Rabbit knows Banner from um, <laughs> pizza yeah. delivery. For pizza delivery, um uh, delivered a few times to her. Um but I don't know if if it's like obvious that because he's like, you know, six foot seven, huge <laughs> ropely muscles and doesn't really match the typical uh, uh what you would imagine a the pizza delivery person to look like. Um, so I don't know if she's smart enough to recognize that, oh, wow, this is also Banner, uh, just not in his uniform. Got you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. You get loads of tips, don't you? When, uh, you, turn, when you turn up at the door with pizzas, you're like, Arr. Only when yeah. you to a bachelorette party. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I brought the pizzas. <laughs> so you um, spend the um, evening at... Um, Sophia's at Miss D's um, apartment, her house, sorry, um, which gives you some more opportunities to eat and drink. And uh, Misty, you can, can, can get one more lot out of these files before you um, call it a night, um, because you obviously don't want to be reading them all, all night. But it's, you catch something... Um, in the files just before you go to sleep and it's something that preys on your mind and you find a document and it seems to be uh, a document of names and you recognize you recognize the names on this piece of paper not because you know them, but you know of them. And there seems to be a, a variety of names that's connected to the, the goodness of Metro City. And there's quite a few of these, and some have been crossed off, and others oh, are... Um, some of them have been crossed off. Oh, crossed out, right. Sorry. Yeah, uh, but some of them are um, still there. And the thing that sort of like may, means that you don't sleep straight away is that you notice on the piece of paper that it says Jack Stone, who was your... Um, is. Not yeah, is. Is and because we saw him alive. Is that a Freudian slip there? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it it was um, because his name is crossed out. <gasps> Behave yourself. And paid. You sort of like. Um, oh. No. I was just thinking when I was making coffee. This I like this feel of Metro City because it's very Gotham. It's very dark superhero. Does that make sense? Yeah. It, it's more Batman than Batman, you know yeah. the, the, the Flash or yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah. So which I like. I like that. Wonder yeah. Days. So the the next morning, um, Misty, you wake up and um, Sophia, you wake up. So you notice that the the flat is, the house is lovely and clean because Rabbit's been round. <laughs> the maid's, the maid's going to turn up and go, hours. what? Yeah. <laughs> you also notice that your fridge is virtually empty. <gasps> I, I, I'll, I'll leave a note on the on the kitchen surface for the maid when she comes in to um, to resupply. Yeah, more. And <laughs> it's is as you're all waking up and um, getting things to eat, etc. That. Um, you quite naturally turn on the the media and you see that there's a, a headline at the moment that there seems to be a bit of a kerfuffle, if you know what that word means, um, a bit of a situation um, downtown in the centre of Metro City. And okay. you can see that there's a, an image gained by a helicopter um, or drone of some description that is sort of like circling uh, a, a skyscraper or, or a tower block. 
and it, you sort of like watch it and the headline is ticking away underneath the pictures and it appears that there's somebody who is on the edge of this very high building um, about to throw themselves off and at the same time as they zoom in you read the name along the bottom and it says astute businessman um, <laughs> looks like they're going to be um, committing suicide um, and the reporter says, and now we go straight down to the centre of Metro City when self-made millionaire Jack Stone appears to be standing on the edge of a roof. Mary, can you give us a set? Yes, George, he is definitely standing on the end of a roof. Um, he's been there tottering on the edge for several minutes. We are not too sure what he's doing and there is some people on the roof trying to coax him away. But up to now, he has made no attempt to come away from the um, building edge at all. And do you think he will jump? Well, he doesn't look like a jumper, but one false step and let's just say he's going to be a nasty splat on the floor below. And it sort of like spans out um, and you can see the uh, the police force trying to, the enforcers trying to keep people away from the um, the site. Although there's a lots of mobile phones um, clicking away and they sort of like zoom down to a reporter um, down on the ground. And he sort of like says, yes, we're well, here we are down as the ground looking up and we cannot quite see Jack Stone at the top of the skyscraper on the tower block. But um, we, we are sure that he's there. And somebody shouts out from the um, crowd, jump, Jack, I'll catch you like this. And there's a whole load of, of laughter, um, etc. Yeah. And we are switch back to you three. All right, so we're watching a newscast, was it? Yeah. Because Banner okay. turned on the news. Okay. Um, I'm going, uh, looks like it, it's been called to action, men and ladies. Ladies. Men and ladies. Um, quick, do the Liberty Mobile. Yes. And, um, and when like, you say that. Starts running out. Yeah, when you say that, the, the garden at the front of my house spreads. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And it's Civic. Robert, how fast could you get there? I want to use a boost instead of answering him. Yeah, um, go for it. boost that I would like to use is hyperspeed. Okay, then. So you can double, I think, yeah, you can double your speed for a single move action in combat or an extended task out. Yeah. Um, so you can um, use that um power boost what what is your um what would double your speed be at running um, i'm assuming i'm sprinting correct um, and my sprint right now is 250 units okay so 500 units okay then so you're um speeding off let let's say that's like um 500 meters per second or something like that. no we don't want it to we don't want you for like five seconds right like yeah meters per second yeah so i was going to say we don't want you any close to the speed of light or sound well you could go faster than speed of sound because yeah. then we'll just hear that boom wouldn't we as you go so you sort of like um set off um down to downtown um as rabbit i'm assuming and Misty and Banner, you're in the um, Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, going well, above the speed limit. Well, to be fair, I, I've not done my, my vehicles yet, so... You I could have a vehicle. Vehicles. Yeah, I agree. But, uh, yeah. But right. I don't really want to have my, my personal vehicles out there anyway, because I'd normally fly there. Yeah, so um, do you wish to fly there? I don't want to leave... He's got his Honda Civic. <laughs> could I carry? I couldn't carry him, could I? Well, so one I, thing... I'll tell you what I could do. I think Let what me... you would do eventually is that you would create a boost. Well, I could probably do the same thing now because 
I have to use my, let's have a look flight. And it's linked with my creation. So I could create a platform that we could both go on and have to concentrate all the way. And if it fails, he'll die. Uh, so so when, when you create something, what is it made out of water? It is, but I can, I, I would do the density of it. Okay, so, so what? Not, think of the Black Sea. <laughs> Very salty. Yes. The dead, the Dead Sea. Dead I think. Sea, yeah. Sorry, the dead sea, yes. Okay. Then. So, so what's the uh, power of creation first? Because you'll oh, need. God. To... Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so is that just like? Do you have to use power um, on that? Uh, no, willpower. It's actually willpower. So I can create a size. He was able to create um, a matter from will alone with a successful willpower roll as an action. The hero can create a um, an amount of solid or liquid material up to his power in size. Okay then. Um, so, or half his power in size. Sorry. So that's sorry. that's just like the the power then, yeah. 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 So you would have to manifest itself, say, at ice. Um, mm. for um, Ballard to be on it. On it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay then. So you have flight. Mm -hmm. So what, do you have a boost to drag no, somebody? I, I have it linked to my um, fly. So I have to maintain willpower. So, so my flight's always on, but when I use it, I have to, if anything happens, it's a willpower. Yeah, so what I'm saying, flight is you isn't it yeah so how do you bring the slab of ice along that's what i used to support me or jets of water or oh, uh, oh it's, it's linked with creation you see so I, I right i get you now so you're mm. on you put mist around you i think i read this bit that allows you to fly is that right oh, you're that was in my first bit yes with the, with the first thing yeah yes yeah, whereas it, it, it um, Mister uses jets of water to lift and push herself, linked to creation. Now I can, I would have thought I'd be able to do that as well to be able to create a platform to link that with creation. I I have no worries of you making a creation for platform. I think you flying, I have no worries about at all. It's be able to move that as well at the same time. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, no, and no. and having banner on it. Yes. Yeah, the weight of it would be. Well, I, I think he he's going to be slip sliding all over the place. But yeah. I think I think what we could do is create a um, a boost later on that allows you to drag somebody else because I really like the idea of you rescuing somebody. Mm. Can you see? So you envelop them in like a water bubble. But that's what uh, I was uh, actually uh, thinking uh, about this situation. Yeah. So and then I fly them back and they're drowned. Yeah, and they, they <laughs> just drown on the way. So that would be um a boost. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking more of uh to save someone from falling off a building. Mm. It would be to envelop them into a bubble. Yeah, well, to be fair, I can still create a platform for if, if he jumps, I can put something below him so he yeah. lands on that. So I think because we, we want to leave space for our characters to develop and get mm. better. So I think on this part, Banner, you're going to be in your Honda Civic unless mm. Misty has a motorbike um, or a, <laughs> a, a scooter or something like that, you know, but you can be in your Honda Civic. Um, mm. Rabbit, you are... Um, you know, going running like anything, and uh, Misty, you've summed up your um, your mist yep. that's and you're um, flying directly there. Um, so everybody's on their way, but quite as you can imagine, Rabbit, you arrive on scene first. You've not only gone fast, but you've also boosted that speed to go um, even faster. So you will actually um, arrive first on scene. So it it's up to you now to decide what you would do, Rabbit. 
um, I would try and uh, possibly using my acrobatics I and my, my parkour boost, I would like to try and weave through the crowd and like pass through. I, I My goal is to get into the building, go up the stairs and go to the guy and grab him and say, Jack Stone, why are you doing this? Okay, then. So, yeah. So let's let's roll your do you have acrobatics or just athletics? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Both. Yeah, so roll your um, acrobatics because that's linked to your parkouring power. I think. Um, I think actually, I is it all that parkour is with two. Um, it works with acrobatics and athletics for climbing and uh, right. ascending. Um, it's, so you can, acrobatics normally, yeah. Yeah. So roll, roll your. Uh, so this is to get through the crowd and into the building. Pow. Yeah, and you sort of like um, it's it's one of those things that you manage to whoosh round, and um, every now and then a sheet of newspaper goes, you know, uh, or uh, that, or somebody reading oh, the news. An old lady with a hot dog stepping out. And, and... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, you, there's somebody go, and she sort of like thinks, what, 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 you know, and somebody's reading a paper. You whoosh past and his toupee goes off in the, in another direction. And there's somebody, you go past the reporter and he says, the lady sort of like saying, and yes, you find it like that. And all her hair goes, um, and then people look around, but you're, um, you quite easily get into the, um, building and yeah. So you're going to rush up to the top and do what? Um, my goal is to, grab him and pull him as hard as i can i don't care if like he falls like the goal is for him to fall onto the building yeah got yeah okay then so He's building on the ground right no <laughs> you um you oh, sort he's not on a ledge sorry i thought he's out of a window on a ledge. no he, he, the very top. he's on the ledge at the top okay, so the very top. you could try to sort of like come from the side of him and bring him down so just roll your um brawn skill for me Oh, if only I had put points in. I did, but it's not great, and I'm ready to use my luck. I would like oh. to roll a re-roll with a luck point. I didn't want to do this. Oh no! no. <laughs> okay, so um, you um, dashed um, by, and you try to almost like cup an arm round his waist, but as you whiz by, by something else catches your uh, attention. And you you don't quite get your arm round him to pull him away, but you do um, slow down. And you look behind you and you can see that there's several um, law enforcers there, including what appears to be a negotiator um, saying, come away from the edge, Mr. Stone. It is not really worth it. And you notice um, Banner, um, as you're driving your Honda Civic, you'll probably have the the news on. And it, it, this says, a breaking news, there seems to be a lady on the roof with Mr. Stone. Really? Where where did she go? We, it is unclear. It is unclear. She just... And you, uh, you notice that the helicopter is flying around. It seems to be hovering by you, Rabbit. And uh, as you uh, almost like slow down and then, you know, the world catches up and yeah, what would you like to do? Um, I feel like I should double down on, on trying to just get him on the ground because if there's a negotiator then that's not working. So that's, uh, I mean, I want to shout, Jack Stone, get, you, uh, uh, get to safety. You can take another roll if you wish to try to pull him away from the edge. You can do that. I'm quite happy for you to have a go at that. Maybe, maybe we should get a firehouse and wrap it round him and pull him back. Yeah. So, um, so, so the you might that there, there's something happening that makes it difficult to you, you feel that when you try to grab him, he's actually resisting you, and that's why you're rolling the brawn skill. Right. That makes sense. Um, because he wouldn't be on the ledge willingly yeah he, he's definitely you know when you ran past him and tried to um pull him off 
he definitely resisted um, from it. But um, if you would like to have another go, um, that's fine. And I'll give you some options, just so you know. Um, so rather than trying to pull it, if you want to try to pull him off, then you can make a brawn roll. Fair enough. But we'll make it opposed this time. So I'll, I'll oppose it with my brawn. And whoever wins, you know, makes it happen. Alternatively, you could use your um, athletics or acrobatics in a way that instead of trying to pull him onto it, you physically try to knock him away from the edge. So maybe you run up and you put your staff on the ground and whirl around your staff with your feet first to try to knock him away. And in which case that would be uh, an athletics or an acrobatics um, check. Or you can use your one of your powers and use one of those, but give me a PowerPoint um, in order to make it um, happen. I think I think that last one, um, somebody like Misty might be able to find a way, but I th I'm not too sure how your speed would help you in that situation or or your luck. Would I? I can't use unarmed to like grapple him down. Yeah, I... you, yeah, you can use that. That's absolutely fine. So that would be feel... that. Sorry, that would be similar to a brawn. Um, so you would use an arm to try to drag him um, away, and it would be thus opposed by um, his brawn in a or unarmed in a similar way. I have faith in my kung fu. So let's do that just, then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and, and grab on it to him in a way where I'm using my finesse rather than my strength, I guess. Yeah. Okay, then. So um, his um, brawn that he's going to oppose it with is 36. Oh, no. Um, so, yeah. Oh. So I got a, a nine. So you need to succeed and get more than a nine. Or a crit. Okay, I'm gonna click again because that didn't roll. Uh, yeah, that that's um absolutely fine. How how do you use your unarmed to get him down? Um this is probably using my speed as well, but I'd probably jump up onto the ledge and like try and hit the back of his knee so he kind of buckles forward to it, onto the building. And then I'll grab his arm and push the small of his back or the center of his back, I should say. It would be weird otherwise. Back on. Um, so he's, he's yeah. So, yeah. So a trip and a, put and a shove. Yeah. And you sort of like um, do it and you shove him and he falls backwards um, onto the um, roof of the building. And um, sure as this happens, um, you notice that um, law enforcers quickly run and um, restrain him. Um, you know, as sort of like hold him down so he doesn't. And you do notice, Rabbit, that he seems to have what can only be classed as a far away look in his eyes. Um, he doesn't seem to be looking at anything. He seems to be looking further away. You notice that he's in what appears to be a really dapper suit, he doesn't seem to have any injuries on him or, or anything like that. He just seems to be um, just gazing. And even when they try to restrain him, he resists for a while. But then that's um, it. Um, Misty, this is probably the time that you come in um, with flying in with your mist or water um, around you. And you sort of like um, fly over and, and banner in your um, car. You you hear the, oh, oh, my God, there's another one. There is another woman who just flew across the sky. Did uh, And they sort of like, Roger, Roger in helicopter four. Can you get a close up? And you see that this helicopter um, turns around and seems to be training on you. Um, Misty, 
um, mm. as you come in towards the rooftop, looking very elegant, I have to say. Indeed. Yes. You know? <laughs> as I glide down, yes. As, as I'm gliding down, I'm going to just out of the side of my, well, just, just nonchalantly create a little cloud of mist that blocks the view of the camera. Nice. Face, um, yeah, and then I'm gonna gently yeah. <laughs> You just missed up the lens, and yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just land and say, Officer of the law, I do believe this man is under an influence of a darker power. So I yeah. just had to, when, when you, I had visions of you coming in on a cloud like monkey. Monkay. You know, <laughs> you know, if anybody remembers monkey. <laughs> he was the funkiest monkey to ever Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a god, I, I think. A god, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you sort of like come down in your mist and then gently step uh, onto the rooftop. And the, um, the law enforcers uh, are a bit... Well, let's call them police. They're they're a little bit unsure what's um, happening here. Um, there seems to be um, two rather um, pretty ladies on the roof that um, seems to um, have attracted uh, a lot of attention. Banner, by the way, um, you've just hit a traffic jam in your Honda Civic. Um, you seem to be in traffic at the moment. At this point, you're suddenly thinking, I really need to get a, uh, a bike, a bike yeah. you know, or, you know, learn how to fly. Um, a red, white, and blue bike. Yeah. And the, um, the medics... I learned to jump, jump really fast. Oh, yes. You, there is a leaping. Um, yeah, I might, might try to go for that. Yeah. Or a stretching. We could just... Or a shrinking. And I think in my pocket. Yeah, <laughs> you could just. What the hell are you in my pocket? You could just. Uh, yeah, you saw like, I don't. I don't. I don't want to introduce that premise of shrinking with my character. <laughs> yeah, um, you, you. You could just. You could just tuck him down your cleavage, Mister. <laughs> like, no. You'll be safe down <laughs> okay. there. Um. Yeah, and the. It's really cool now. You. You um, notice, Misty. Once. Once you used your. Um, your. Um, influence there. Just make an influence check for me with your um, wonderful speech. Yeah, and the the um, the police seem to be a little bit dumbfounded and sort of like looking at each other. But you notice that the the medics, the paramedics, are a lot more on point, and they sort of like um, come up and they're sort of like shining. Um, light um, into um, Jack Stone's eyes. And they, they seems to be incredibly unresponsive and they seem to be um, checking his vitals. And you can hear them talking and they you don't have, neither Rabbit or Misty have extensive medical knowledge, but you hear them saying things like a blood pressure slightly high, um, normal heart rhythm, um, pupils highly dilated. And one of them says, do you think he's on drugs? And they sort of like say, well, you have to take a blood test when we get back to um, to a hospital. And they um, bring out one of those um, stretches that comes out and um, they they start packing them, um, Jack, um, onto the, the stretcher. Um, Rabbit and Misty, is there anything that you would like to do? Yes. Um, you go to you first. Oh, I guess I am faster. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to... <laughs> that sounded really arrogant of me. No, it did! <laughs> it's cool I, uh, Rabbit's not a big fan of the situation right now and knows that she's just going to blabber on about things that don't matter, so she's going to sprint as fast as she can. The goal now is to head back the way I came, and if I see a 1987 Honda Civic, I will <laughs> jump into it. Got yeah. Otherwise, I'm going back to uh, Misty's house. Okay, then. And, yes, yeah, so um, roll your acrobatics or whatever you rolled to get down here. F um, and I would like to use acrobatics. I do have one idea I would plan to do, though. Um, after. Yeah. This. So, Rabbit, you um, suddenly um, head off. Um, Misty, what's mm. going to be your plan? Um, I'm going to 
You're quite awe-inspiring, by the way. Oh, oh I know. I, <laughs> yeah. I know. I um, I'm going to just slightly raise myself off the floor a little bit, and I'm going to say, "Who's in charge here?" And the, the, the uh, uh, you're talking to the paramedics or the police? I'm talking to the police. Sorry. Yeah, and the the what appears to be the police no um, negotiator says. Oh, I, 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 I am the senior ranked officer here, Mom. This man here, and and tasked us with them um, finding out about a, a drug that's going around this city, a drug that could cause people to be persuaded to do things. I do believe he's a victim of this. That that so that's treat him with care. That that sounds awful, um, Mom. Um, just roll your um, insight, please. Oh, do you know what? Point of luck, reversing that to 46, because Ooh. I am there. I'm in the room. I you, got, you are. You're, you're... Sparkly tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> um, you notice that when you're saying this, the police negotiator seems to be... Um, um, totally enthralled and listening and talking to you. But you do notice that, um, and it's very slight, and you're not 100% sure, but when you talked about the drug making people be persuasive, you're not too sure, but um, two of the police officers <sighs> seem to glance at each other oh just almost like that sideways glance oh do they know it's me sort of glance it could be that or they might oh, know she's mental yes or um she looks like my mom or my sister yeah. or maybe it was something to do with the words when you mentioned the drug and banner you said that you wanted to do something yeah, I wanted to um, put my car, like turn off my car, get out, and then physically lift my car <laughs> and, walk it, and walk it to, to out of traffic <laughs> and then put it down. So, um, awesome. so yeah, um, I presume your brawn skill is elevated. Yeah, uh, that and, you know, I have pretty, I have 18 strength, so. Yeah, so 18 strength would increase your... Um, Brawn world as well, so yeah. Um, yeah. Well, roll, roll, roll away. I didn't know whether or not you had a power or boost that allowed you I, to lift heavy objects. I uh, let's see, what what do I got? I I know I have something. I promise. The enhanced myself. strength, core power. Um, yeah, so you can you lift. Yeah, it, yeah. Army strong, army strong. Yeah, you can lift up to four tons and can push yourself to lift even more using your brawn skill. Um, yeah. So yeah. how? The question and there's is: There's no way my 87 Honda Honda Civic is more than four months. <laughs> How much does a Honda Civic weigh? About 750 kilos. And I guess. Right here we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I it has to be a 1987 one. Um, one thousand between oh. one uh, one thousand five hundred kilograms. No. Yeah, Honda Civic. Curb weight, yeah. 1,517 kilograms to 1,533 kilograms. That's, no, that can't be right, because that's like a ton and a half. It's, yeah, it's a ton and a half, yeah, 1.6 1. tons. But my, my, my is car is 1.3 tons, and that's... How much, what's your car? Uh, uh, Peugeot 207cc. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you're just playing uh, numbers yeah. after it to make it sound... <laughs> <laughs> Um, is yours a hash so Honda? It's a it's a compact car. This is me. Yeah. Um, or it says two thousand eight hundred to three thousand um, pounds. If you want. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, it's what? the important thing is that it's less than four tons. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. Y you uh, <laughs> you get out your car and just sort of like lift it up <laughs> uh, 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 over your head, and you. This this brings in quite a bit of um, attention, 
and you sort of like lift it up and you it's a bit like the um paparazzi you notice that people are, are taking out their um, phones and taking pictures. And somebody mentioned something about a strange world of TikTok and Insta. And you sort of like lift this um, up over your head. And then, then what What are you going to do with your... Are you? Did you say you're gonna, walking with it? I'm going to walk it to Central Rock, my car, to where it's no longer in traffic. <laughs> So I don't know if that's going the other way. Yeah, well, you're sort of like walking, weaving your way through the the um, the traffic jam. That's what I, I was going to say, car jam, but that didn't sound traffic jam. And um, ra you rabbit, it's at this point that you see Banner um, walking with... Flying Honda Civic. Yeah, he, he's sort of like holding his car up above his head and he's walking. You sort of like seeing from the um, distance and yeah. Um, and there seems to be a huge amount of photography going on. And I think that will be a good place to finish it. So just to recap where everybody is, Rabbit, you're running full speed. You managed to get out of the building and you're running down the side of the, on the pavement or the sidewalk. And you can see this traffic jam and Banner is walking towards you holding the, the car up. And Banner, you've decided to pick the car up and there's lots of social media um, opportunities here. And you you don't know that rabbit is um, coming your way, but you're determined to get to the scene. And yeah. Mi Misty, you're uh, on top of the roof. Um, they're taking Jack Stone away, and the ne police negotiator it seems to be very enthralled. And you've mentioned about this compulsive drug on the streets, and you notice that there was two f um, furtive glances of two um, police officers, but you're not too sure why. And that seems to be um, a, a nice place to finish. It's 10 o'clock, which brought us back nicely. So, yeah, when we next play, we will pick it up from this point. And the first rabbit, um, you will be the um, first person to act because you're the fastest and you'll always be first. And we will start with you, but Misty and Banner have your actions ready to see what, what is happening. Yeah, Rabbit, you've got to go first every single time. So brilliant. Well done, people. I love the way that you're getting into your characters now. And I really like the, the environment of Metro City and the way that you've plunged yourselves fearlessly into the media and yeah, um, I can't wait to see the newspapers or the new city no <laughs> media than a teenager. Yeah, and it's sort of like, and um, you might actually get some um, teenage boys, um, Misty, with your your pinup um, and start of <laughs> by uh, what? <laughs> uh, you know, you you'll be pinned up on the wall oh, right, in, in a poster. In a poster. Oh, oh, of course. You know, and you start getting the the other thing that I I think is going to happen. Just so you know, Rabbit, I think it'd be one of those things that the news stories will slow down the film, and they'll be saying something. As you look at this, it seems to be absolutely an empty frame. However, if we slow it down to 20 times slower you can just see a blur an <laughs> energy drink just yeah and, taco, energy drink to, and as you as you go you go like that <laughs> it's not like um speed uh past hence yeah. why i asked about your altered egos by the way um so I had that information before we had that scene. Um, brilliant. Thank you for the players tonight for being absolutely awesome. Thank you to you um, if you're in the channel and for your support. We really do appreciate it. Um, Medivac, do you want to say when you're gay? I think you're playing Call of Cthulhu and D&D &D now, aren't you? Oh, yes, yeah, we have been for, yeah. But, uh, yes. They Halloween. started again, yeah. Yes, yes, sorry. Um, Halloween nights, we have Trail of Cthulhu, which is where we all go wibble. 
do, 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 yeah, do, with, with Dolgoroth. Um, and then on, um, on Thursday, our D&D group has now done the same thing we did last time by going into a room and triggering everything again. Yeah. You, you certainly have not learnt your lesson from last time. <laughs> no, we, we took a long rest and then you... everything came back and then we went back. So we, and it, uh, yeah, so hey, hard you, luck. 7.30 Thursday and um, Monday. On Medivac, the Healing Hoover channel, yes. yeah. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning. Please remember that our clocks go back tonight. Uh, well, tomorrow morning at 2 o'clock, but we'll be back um um tomorrow i'll be back playing um minecraft at nine o'clock um gmt time um if you missed us this morning i'm doing the, a video that we killed the ender dragon and everybody was so kind to me because there was other people there and they they left it till there was one hit point so i could actually fire my bow and actually kill it to get the achievement <laughs> nobody else was allowed to uh, make good. but just to let you know cuz i know mr pickles you're on the server um i opt matt and he's made um a shop uh, with dragon eggs in them um, so everybody can eventually get a dragon egg because, of course, I killed the boss now and that's it all by myself. What, what happens when you kill the other dragon? It's just... Oh, no. It, do you want to know? It's absolutely amazing. I was completely flabbergasted by this. So another portal opens now on our mod pack. And if you go through that portal, you go into an end world and so this was a complete new world and i said to matt and silver fox i said so what what else can there be and they said something like there could be 16 other portals going from the dragon's place into different biomes that you can go off so they went in and went up to an airship and now they have um wings so they can actually fly in the normal world, etc. It, it's I never realized I never realized Minecraft was so big, if that <laughs> makes sense. They just something after something after something, you know. So, and Sunday morning we show off creations from other people on the server. So one day we're going to go to the Mister Pickles Tavern and show it off when he <laughs> has it finished. Yeah, yeah. So it's Before silver. Is it finished? No, no. Once it's finished. Uh, once it's finished, yeah. So uh, tomorrow is the Silver Foxes that has created something that you can actually see it on the map. It's so big. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Then tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock, I'll be playing some more Elder Scrolls Online as the Witches Festival comes to uh, an end um, on Halloween. So, yeah, so come along then. Thank you to everybody who's come along and supported the stream. I hope you enjoyed the superhero it's using the mithras rules and the game is officially called destined and thanks to mike and brian who the founders both of which have been on the mithras mithras matters podcast to talk about it we'll see you next week we don't know what we're playing yet but please do come along and support us we really do appreciate it and until then it's goodbye from me i will see you tomorrow and it's goodbye from them Goodbye. Goodbye for your letter and Yes. I, I just have to press this button as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>